Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you another Madden 15 Ultimate Team Pack opening video. And today guys, what we're trying to do is pull the boss JJ Watt and the boss Jerry Rice items out of packs today. Uh, it's early in the morning as you can probably see back over here. I've got a window over there. Actually, it's a door with a window. I don't know. Uh, but you can see that it's light out on Sunday morning. I'm recording this video. Very, very late in the evening for me. Um, stayed up late. Uh, I don't know. I just, for whatever reason, my sleep schedule is just so screwed up, guys. But that's just the way that I am. I still sleep a fairly normal amount of hours. But for whatever reason, I just sometimes stay up all freaking night playing games or working on stuff or whatever. But anyway, what we're trying to do today is, like I said, open up those JJ Watt or the uh, Jerry Rice items. Either one of those would be freaking amazing. There's still other good stuff as well that we could potentially pull. Um, the old glory packs are in the game right now. That's actually pretty cool. I love the fact that they include some of these like random um, holiday packs or whatever that they had. They had the Easter ones, they had the Thanksgiving ones. Uh, they've got obviously the 4th of July ones. Um, what else do they have? Halloween. I'm trying to think of what else, but um, you know, I, I wish that they would imp implement more of these types of special packs versus just like, oh, it's all pro pack weekend, which nobody cares about any of that crap, to be honest with you. So, uh, you know, it's stuff like this that I think makes it a little bit more fun when they include like a little special set like this here or there. I love that kind of stuff. So thank you, Madden Ultimate Team, for continuing to actually put fun stuff in Ultimate Team, at least, even if the actual Madden gameplay, you know, leaves something to be desired. So anyway, guys, what we're going to be doing today, I'm going to open up a bunch of pro packs, and then I'm also going to open up one old glory pack if things go moderately well, or depending on how I'm feeling, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Um, I'm looking forward to pulling one of those because I want to see what I can get because, like I said, it does include six, or, six gold or better players, uh, and then it also includes a 4th of July legend collectible an independence badge, and, and four team items. So it's a bigger pack than what your standard pa um, pro pack would be. Plus, it gives you better odds for potentially pulling one of those boss cards. So that's what we're going to try and do today, guys. Uh, but let's get right into the pack opening video, see what we can do here. Um, again, trying to just pull one of these boss items, and right away we get an elite to TJ Ward, which is worth practically nothing at this point. But man, it's nice to at least start off with an elite. Hopefully that will give us some luck going forward and maybe we can actually pull something decent out of today's pack opening video. So I want to know guys, um, you know, a lot of people opened up their packs yesterday, of course. Uh, and the reason, of course, I'll, I'll let you know the reason in a second, but you know, a lot of people, like I said, opened up their packs yesterday trying to pull these items. Did any of you guys pull the uh, the boss Jerry Rice or the boss Julius, or uh, Julius Peppers, uh, JJ Watt? Uh, because if you did, I'm very interested to see what their, you know, what the odds are basically. Because I know a lot of people have been talking about that maybe there are more 24-hour cards than there have been in the past lately. Um, so I don't know if that's actually true or not, but it does seem like there might be more recently than uh, early in the year. Like maybe there's just a higher odds on pulling the 24-hour items or something like that. So let me know in the comments section below, guys, if you pulled either of them. Obviously, you know, when they're having two a week like they have been lately, you're more likely to pull one of them. But I, I just feel like there's been more total pulled as well, which is kind of weird considering that I think less people are playing Ultimate Team now than we're playing maybe two, three, four months ago. So anyway, uh, let's continue to open up these packs here. And, and guys... What I was going to mention before, too, um, the reason that I'm pulling this so late is because, not just because I stayed up late, but also because uh, the last time that I pulled a boss item, it was like middle of the night. I think it was like 4 a.m. or something like that when I pulled that uh, that boss Barry Sanders. So hopefully, we could potentially get something decent like that again. That would be freaking amazing. But uh, let's see here what we can get out of these. whole lot of junk so far. Really not much to be speaking of at all. Unless, you know, one of these gold cards or something goes for a lot and I just don't remember. So, you know, really not anything to be excited about. We only got that TJ Ward, which is worth like 2k at this point or something like that. So we're definitely getting killed so far on our packs. Uh, we get a DJ Fluker there, which is nothing. We've got a couple of independence badges now, which is which is nice. Um, just to let you guys know, too, these can actually go into the 4th of July coach set, which is, you know, something nice to have at least. Um, they're not completely worthless but still not worth a whole lot. So anyway, uh, nothing really out of these packs so far. We'll maybe open up one, two, maybe three more, something like that. 
Um, as you guys can see there, I've got quite a few coins because I've been trying to sell stuff. Hey, we get a Dante Hightower. I know this card doesn't go for a lot anymore, but I, I still like the card art on this one for whatever reason. It just, it's just kind of a cool card. So it's nice to get an Elite. Again, I, I'm always appreciative when I get an Elite, and we get a, an Independence Badge in that one as well. So uh, this is definitely the best pack that we've had so far. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still you know trying to collect stuff in Madden. You know, it, it kind of feels like the game is dwindling out now. I, and like I said, I don't know if that's a fact or not. How many of you guys are still playing, though? I, I'm interested in knowing. Tyvon Branch. Love that. That's a pretty cool card to be able to pull. 93 overall. Um, you know, it's, it's obviously not the best card or anything like that as a strong safety. But actually, if you look at some of the attributes that he has, he's not too bad. He does have great speed. He's got 97 speed. He's six foot tall, which is okay. He's got great acceleration. Um, you know, so he's he's not a bad item overall, guys. I, I definitely think that one's a decent one. Uh, let's see here. Anything else decent? Not really. And sorry, guys, if you hear some weird sound in the background, my, uh, I don't know if it's like my water heater or something is like resetting or I don't know what the hell is going on in there, but it's making a bunch of loud noise. So I apologize if you guys can hear that in the video. You probably can, I imagine. So again, I apologize. Uh, let's see here. And nothing here. Cody Sensaba. Uh, I think maybe we'll open up one more. Oh, um, and I also want you, wanted to mention, guys, you're probably wondering what's going on with my face cam. Like, why is it not chopped out like the, the background cropped out like it normally is? Well, here's the truth of what's happening right now. So in the background, you can probably see I've got like balloons on the wall. And there's like a table set up back there and stuff. Um, we've got a we've got like a whole setup down here in the basement. Uh, we're having a baby shower here today for one of my friends and his wife. Uh, so that should be pretty fun. They're having a baby girl as well. So it'll be nice for my daughter to have a play uh, friend when she gets a little bit older. But um, yeah, so basically my green screen that I normally have behind me is like all the way across the room. I'm going to move it back tomorrow. But um, it's all the way across the room and I don't want to set everything up again just to, to make one short video. So understand that. Hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys do. That's why the, the background's a little bit weird right now. But hopefully you guys can deal with that a little bit. Uh, Darren Sproles. Yeah, really nothing out of most of these packs here. So I'm going to do one more pro pack and then we will open up the old glory pack and try and get something decent out of that. I'll poop if I get that JJ Watt. I swear, man, that's going to be a sick ass pull if I could pull something like that. So absolutely nothing out of this final one. And uh, we'll see here what we can get here in this old glory pack. Once again, guys, six gold or better players, one 4th of July legend collectible, an automatic independence badge, and four team items. So I think that we've got, um, what, how many independence badges? Three, maybe, I think we pulled. So hopefully, I, I don't even remember how many you have to get to actually be able to do that set. I'm assuming it's way more than that, but we'll see. So here we go. And we get nothing to start it off. Okay, so we get the Cardinals legend. Uh, and there's the Independence Badge, Seahawks Jersey, Lance Kendricks, DJ Fluker, Gary Williams, another Independence Badge, okay, Tyson Jackson, Kenny Vaccaro, Lambeau Field, and we're down to our final card. So pretty much absolutely nothing out of these packs so far, unless this Cardinals Legend uh, goes for anything decent, which I don't, I don't think it does. I could be wrong. Um... It's possible that this might be like a Pat Tillman item or something like that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we got nothing else out of these packs. We got two independence badges. I'm going to go in and see how many you actually have to have at the end of this video uh, to finish that set. Because I really haven't paid close attention to it. But let's see here. Let's hope that this final item is a boss card. Wish me some luck, guys. Let's go. And... Oh. It was just a freaking... It was just a freaking playbook. So yeah, we got completely shit on in all of these packs, guys. I don't even think we really opened up anything good. Um, we got the we got the branch right, so that was uh, that was an okay pull, but that doesn't even come close to paying for what we paid in these packs. So unfortunately, guys, we got kind of crapped on. Hopefully, you guys had better luck. If you did, uh, let me know in the comment section below because I'm really interested in hearing to, what you guys ended up actually getting in your packs. It's always fun, honestly, for me to hear what you guys are pulling. I know a lot of people lie in the comment section and be like, oh, yeah, I pulled both J.J. Watt and Jerry Rice in one pack. And I'm like, okay, I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did, man. Um, <laughs> but uh, like I said, I want to hear what you guys are pulling because it's very interesting to me. So let's see here. Um, I think we might be pretty close on these. One more? Yeah, nice. Okay, 
So we are going to be able to get the 4th of July coach set. So let's open up this. See what we get. And there it is. Tom Coughlin adds plus 3 to strength. Um, so obviously this is not a very difficult thing to pull. But it does include a uh, long... Uh, pass and a man defense chemistry. I am currently using the long pass actually for my coach So it's possible that I might switch over to this given the fact that it does add that plus three strength And a lot of people don't realize how important strength is for your offensive line and especially for your defensive line um, It is even is important for things like your running backs to fall forward So I'm definitely considering putting this Tom Coughlin in if nothing else I can sell him for a few coins. So that's not too bad but unfortunately, guys, like like I said, that was pretty much the best thing that we got in this whole pack. We got a couple more, maybe one more independence badge, so I'll probably end up selling that. But again, guys, I want to hear what you guys are pulling. Let me know in the comments section below. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you are new, please, guys. And I will talk to you guys again soon.